this fall, I plan to attend Vanderbilt University and I'm majoring in Medicine Health Society with the end goal being either the medical field or social work. So I think it was in February and I got an email from the Vanderbilt portal and I thought it was something about like immunization records, something about my application that didn't really have to do with my acceptance. And so I was on the way home from a tennis tournament in the car, um, just pulled up my email and I saw, congratulations class of 2026. And I was like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> and so I had to like reread it and show it to my mom. And I was like, is this for real? And she's like, uh, yeah, that's for real. You just got accepted. And so, yeah, <laughs> I was like in shock and denial for a good day and a half. So Mr. Bell has a saying where he says there's reach schools, dream schools, um, which are like the ones you really want to go to, and then safety schools. And Vanderbilt was definitely a REACH school, which means I, it was a very ambitious um, target for me to want and pursue. And I honestly didn't really know if I was going to get in or not, but um, when I did, I was extremely excited and just grateful for this opportunity that God gave me because, I mean, really, there's really no other explanation for how I got here other than that. So the email that I had gotten in February, it also said that I was accepted into the Mosaic program, which is a group of like 200 freshman applicants. It's pretty competitive, but it's for diversity culturally, ethnically, and philosophically, which honestly, I don't think I really fit the first two. But uh, after Mr. Bell and I talked, we decided that it's really from my diversity essay. When we were writing my diversity essay, I was talking about my love for philosophy and just thinking deep and challenging just cultural norms and just religion and how we view the world, which is not typically what students go for their diversity essay route. And it's because of him encouraging me to just do what I feel passionate about that I think I got that. So that's one really cool thing about Mr. Bell and Capstone is that he really encourages you to just be yourself and not necessarily do what colleges are like the perfect formula of what they want. It's more how can you show your uniqueness and differences and what you bring to the table that colleges actually want in students. So I thought that was awesome. Capstone, I've been meeting every other week for the past two or three years and it's seriously been a game changer as far as the college application process goes. Um, I, there are so many deadlines that Mr. Bell held me to that I totally would have just forgotten and blown through. And I actually won a couple scholarships from our scholarship application, which I also don't think I would have taken the time outside of Capstone if it wasn't for um, our time here and um, just also coming in not really knowing what I wanted to pursue in college. He really, Mr. Bell is extremely patient in just if you come in saying okay today I might want to explore sports journalism then we'd spend the session like looking at what your career would look like in the future or um, how that would change from what you were cur currently looking into and it was really cool just to like not be so quick to pick oh this is what I want to do for the rest of my life at the age of 16 but instead kind of explore and see what's out there and I think that's been incredibly helpful for me these past three years. So Capstone is, it has been awesome for me because it really does give me a sense of direction as far as the college application process, which 
When I was a junior and it was about time to start applying to colleges, I just thought that I was in way over my head. And that's exactly why this program has been so incredibly helpful because we set out a calendar of what we're going to get done in these next few weeks, months, years, and just having that direction and sense of organization is beyond helpful and I mean I don't think I could have done it without it. I think that if I didn't have Capstone these past few years that there's definitely things I would have missed and things I would have missed out on because without that sense of organization and direction um, I would have been clueless on a lot of the college application process and I would strongly advise any of my friends, any upcoming students, juniors, seniors, whatever, to be a part of Capstone or any college advising service really because it really is so important to just have that sense of direction and help from somebody that knows what colleges want and just wants to know you personally and get to know who you are and what you want and it's just so much more personal than any online service that you could get or any school counselor who doesn't really have time to get to know you personally and your specific needs so Capstone has been such an amazing thing for me to be a part of and I love Mr. Bell I love coming to him every other week and just talking about our lives and then also just getting right into what we have to do for college applications, scholarships, stuff like that. So if you are on the fence about doing any sort of college advising, I strongly recommend Capstone.